Dive into the fun world of letters with Sparkle DNA's ABC Word Chase and Coloring Book. Looking for an exciting and educational way to help your little ones explore their ABCs? Look no further. This engaging book not only allows your child to practice tracing the alphabet, but also includes tracing words and coloring fun pictures in between. It's kid-friendly, kid-approved, and the perfect blend of learning and creativity. Get your copy today and watch your child's learning journey light up with joy. Hey everyone, welcome back to the LifeScope channel. On your way in, don't forget to like, share, definitely subscribe and support the channel. It's appreciated as always. So since the Jaguar Wright interview on Pierce Morgan, there has been backlash, particularly in this case from Ray J. So this is a short two minute clip of him on his platform, the reality check. And we're just gonna hear what gripe Ray J has with Jaguar Wright. People were listening. You got our attention. Is what you're saying true? Because this shit is outrageous. But I came to the conclusion that once I seen the story about me and what you had to say about me and situations in my past, that is where I started to understand that you are totally fabricating stories and you are a complete liar. So that means that I have no respect for you and nothing you're saying. So now I'm gonna go further. How dare you disrespect Jay-Z and Beyonce? Jay-Z, Jay-Z is an OG. Don't ever disrespect Beyonce because now that you're lying on me and I know for sure that all the shit you're saying is a lie. Let me just pause right there. So Ray J wanted Jaguar Wright to be on his platform and he made somewhat of a strange video last week where it looks like he's in the dark you can't hardly see him and he's talking about I got a bag for you and why you didn't come mess with me meaning be on his platform and his tone went from being a little aggressive I mean as best as Ray J could be being a little aggressive to not being aggressive in a split second so now that Jaguar Wright has done Pierce Morgan, now that Jay-Z and Beyonce's lawyer has made Pierce Morgan apologize publicly, he is saying that Jaguar Wright is full of mess and he doesn't respect her because she lied about him. But didn't he know that she has been talking about Jay-Z? She's been talking about Beyonce. Now, I said in my last video, Jaguar Wright appears to have a hard-on for Jay-Z. Because even if you didn't really know about Jaguar Wright, you can look up her name now and see YouTube videos from the platforms that she has been on. And the main people she has talked about for years is Diddy and Jay-Z. So I find it a little hard to believe that Ray J doesn't know that she was talking about Jay-Z. And if she's talking about him, then at some point she is going to talk about Beyonce. It seems like it only matters now because Jaguar Wright was on Pierce Morgan, who is considered to be mainstream and has more of a broader audience, maybe even a larger audience in a lot of cases. So that's more ears hearing um, Jaguar Wright talk about Jay-Z and Beyonce, and that can go into their reputation, maybe affect some money somehow some way I don't think too much but maybe it's a little bit of a hurdle for them because she's talking to a larger audience and you know there are more ears to listen to what she has to say 
So him saying he doesn't care whether or not she talks about him, but it was because of Beyonce. But I'm like, how did you miss it? Maybe he did. Maybe he don't listen to any platforms. Maybe he is too busy in his own world. But she literally has been talking about Jay-Z for years. So it was okay then. But now it's not okay because she talked about you. But you're saying you don't care. I don't know. It just kind of sounds a little funny to me. How you want to go for me? Jaguar, you done fucked up. Jaguar, right? You done fucked up. You don't even fucked up, don't you? Mm. You don't even fucked up. No, you don't fucked up. Jaguar, right? Jaguar, right? You done fucked up. <laughs> you done fucked up. Because now you lying on me. I know a lie when I know I didn't do something, right? You know somebody lying about you when you know the fact. Jaguar, you have lied about the wrong person. And I'm not talking about me because I don't give a fuck about what you said about me because that's nonsense. What I do care about is you talking about Beyonce. I don't like when people talk about Beyonce. Uh -uh. We're not going to do that. You done fucked up. Jay-Z is an OG brush that shit off and I'm sure Beyonce gives no hells and no fucks but Beyonce has never done nothing to nobody I haven't seen Beyonce make one mistake okay let me just pause right there now I like Beyonce's music I've liked it for years and I'm one of those people that I could love a person's artistry their music take them as a good actor or actress but i'm never gonna be up their ass so if they do something that is just crazy or if they do something that is suspect or suspicious you know i'm not gonna sit up here and be just oh but it's them oh but no oh but I'm not going to make excuses is what I'm getting at. If all of the signs and all of the proof points to an entertainer doing something foul. Now, with Beyonce, there's been rumors said that she allegedly steals uh, choreographers um, choreography. She, she steals their stuff, her and her team. I don't know how true that is. And I say allegedly, but I know I've heard that rumor and I'm not really checking for that. That's just something that has been said enough times to where I'm repeating it because that's how many times it's been said. And... I don't know if the choreographers ever tried to sue her or anything like that. Or maybe she added them, gave them a price. Who knows until that information comes out. But that's been a rumor. So for him to say that she's done nothing wrong, maybe he truly feels that way about her. And I also want to add... Would Jay-Z and Beyonce, would they take up for Ray J the way that Ray J is taking up for them? Like, it's okay for him to do what he's doing. He has every right to feel how he feel, think how he thinks, say what he say. I'm not knocking him for that. I couldn't do that. But I'm just wondering, would they do the same thing for Ray J? And you know what? That's somebody that's really trying to make sure that her image is in the forefront and be a role model for all these young girls and all the people that's inspiring to be like her or to follow down a path like that. That's a path you want to follow down. Why are you trying to fuck that up? Why are you lying on Jay-Z and Beyonce?
How do we create a solution so these Jaguar rights don't exist in our new society? So that was it on the clip. And at the end, he said, how do we create um, a situation? This is not verbatim. But how do we create a situation where Jaguar rights don't exist? And the answer is, you can't. There's always going to be some type of opposition to whatever is considered to be the norm. So if a lot of people are choosing to go right, there are going to be a few people that say they're going to go left. And some people are going to go left just because a lot of people are going right. So there's always going to be some type of opposition, meaning there's always going to be people out there that's like Jaguar Wright. Not exactly like her, but on the same wavelength in terms of what she's doing. Do we agree with it? Well, that's up to you, the audience, to decide whether or not you agree with what she's doing, whether you believe what she's doing. Sometimes I'm in the middle with it. Um, some of the stuff I do believe she has a knowledge of just because she was in the industry for a long time. And it just seems like most of the people that are vocal or most of the people that are loud that's in entertainment business, in the entertainment business, it seems like a lot of them are not healthy. Like I would love to see healthy singers, healthy rappers, healthy actors and actresses. Like why are the people that seem to be the most vocal just strung out, turned out, fiend out. Like, why? And when you see a pattern like that, you have to look towards the industry. And you have to wonder, what's going on that's turning out these fiends? Whatever they are addicted to. So, I want to talk about something else as well. Because I am sure some of you all have heard about our Kelly. And let me just pull this up. Give me a second. About our Kelly's daughter, Buka, who has said the singer sexually abused her as a child and this is from people website quote i was too scared to tell anybody and buka is the daughter of r kelly and andrea kelly so r kelly's daughter buka abby is speaking out publicly for the first time about the alleged abuse she suffered during her childhood at the hands of her father. The final minutes of TVE Streaming Network's new two-episode documentary, Karma, A Daughter's Journey, which premiered yesterday, because this came out yesterday, claimed that Abby, 26, was abused by the singer as a child and first reported it to her mother, Andrea, in 2009, which she was 10 years old at the time. He was my everything for a long time. I didn't even want to believe that it happened. I didn't know that even if he was a bad person that he would do something to me. She says in the documentary, the first episode of which is streaming now i was too scared to tell anybody i was too scared to tell my mom though abby who was born joanne kelly does not go into detail about the alleged abuse in the first episode she says that she believes Jail is a well-suited place for Kelly, who is 57 years old, to be. As she knows from her personal experience. So, wow. His own 
daughter, his own flesh and blood, is claiming that her father abused her. And um, I mean, I don't know. Do we believe that? Why would she have a reason to lie? I mean, he's in jail. What is she gaining? Now, some people could say they're doing documentaries. They're trying to just run him down. They're trying to make money off of his name. But I don't think as of right now that she is lying on her father, especially when you may or may not have heard the story that R. Kelly was abused when he was a child. I think he was abused by two people, one of them being a woman, and I think the other one being a man, if I'm not mistaken. Um, It's been some time since I've heard the story, and somebody was related to him that abused him. Um, If I look into the story, if I remember, I'll look into it and we can kind of read and go over it. But I believe he was abused by a man and a woman. I'm going to say allegedly because I don't know for sure, but he definitely was abused. That's a fact. And it definitely was by more than one person. That's a fact. And I do believe it was a man and a woman. Just not sure whether or not who was he related to somebody was related to him that abused him so if he experienced that then look he's doing that to his daughter and that's a little bit of what I was saying when I was talking about the Dame Dash and Diddy on that video about Dame Dash weighing in and how I agreed with Dame Dash when he said that Diddy was making people gay. Now, I know that some people are born gay and some people want to say, well, you can't just turn gay. It's not necessarily about people just turning gay. But if R. Kelly who was abused, he turned around and did the same thing allegedly to his daughter. Then if we were to use that same logic and apply that to what Dame Dash was saying about Diddy, Diddy allegedly being an undercover homosexual gets on some guy who probably wasn't even thinking about penis. He didn't care. Turns around, drugs him, does something to him, blackmails him, and your body, your natural body, if you don't like something, the more time somebody does it to you, you might like it. Your body may say, I kinda like this. You are confused and conflicted. Can't nobody tell me that that doesn't happen when I've literally talked with people in different situations where they have been conflicted in terms of what they want. So it is not about turning gay. It's more about being turned out because it's something that they wasn't even thinking about doing until it got done to them in a nefarious way. This right here just using that same logic with R. Kelly and his daughter, it was done to him. He obviously didn't get help. Nobody was there to talk to little child Robert Kelly. Nobody that we know of. So now he turns around and he is conflicted. And he does it to his daughter. So it's really a very sick behavior that once a victim, now a victimizer. And very sad as well that people turn down that road. But when you choose to go that route because you have not 
got a grip on your own life or have I guess maybe made peace with what has happened and chose to go in another direction you have to face the consequences and R. Kelly definitely is facing some of the consequences and it seems like the story continues for him so I need to see what is the TVE network because I don't remember seeing that on stream so I need to check out what the TVE network is and see if I have it so I can watch his daughter and see what the interview is um I don't know if I want to play the trailer let me go ahead and read the rest of this I really feel like that one millisecond completely just changed my whole life and changed who I was as a person and changed the sparkle I had and the light I used to carry, she says. After I told my mom, I didn't go over there anymore. My brother Robert and sister Joa, we didn't go over there anymore. And even up until now, I struggle with a lot. And see, that's what I'm saying. You are conflicted if anything like that has ever happened to you. It is not making anybody anything. That person has to basically wrestle with whatever demons have come their way and when I mean demons I'm just saying with the bad influences maybe even um, voices talking to them saying yeah go ahead do this do this do this that's why when people say you have to stay prayed up you really do you really do so let's not all act like we don't understand or we don't know what is being said here so she's saying and within that second, it changed who she is. I mean, I couldn't have said it any better. And she is the one that went through it. It changes who you are when you go through something like that. So the episode ends with information about delayed disclosure, which explains that many victims of child sex abuse wait years or decades to reveal what happened to them in the second episode Buka goes into more detail about the alleged abuse which she says happened when she was eight or nine I just remember waking up to him touching me she recalls crying and I didn't know what to do so I just kind of laid there and I pretended to be asleep. Buka says she eventually told her mother what happened and they went to the police and filed a complaint as Jane Doe. But she adds in the documentary they couldn't prosecute him because I waited too long. So at that point in my life, I felt like I said something for nothing. In a statement to people, Kelly's attorney, Jennifer Bonjean, said Mr. Kelly vehemently denies these allegations. His ex-wife made the same allegations years ago and it was investigated by the Illinois Department of Children and Family Services and was unfounded. And the filmmakers, whoever they are, did not reach out to Mr. Kelly or his team to even allow him to deny these hurtful claims. So, do you guys believe that R. Kelly, even though he was abused, and he was with underage females um, 
He was. It was, it was on video. He was on under, with, with underage females. That was a part of his thing. Do you think he could have done that to his own flesh and blood? Again, I mean, I don't know. I just don't see the reason for her lying. But I do understand if people did give her backlash because you can just go on and on talking about R. Kelly and making all these type of documentaries and doing all these interviews. And he's already locked up. So it's like how many more interviews would he have to deny? How many more times does he get to speak? And they didn't even talk to him per what his lawyer said. So he didn't even get a chance to deny anything. This is after the fact. So I think I am going to leave that there. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave that there with R. Kelly. Just wanted to come on here, do this video about R. Kelly and Ray J., and definitely let me know what you think again don't forget to like share subscribe and support the channel and until next time bye